Over the last three days, flash floods and cloud bursts have killed more than 20 people apart from causing wide-scale destruction. This year, till July 17, 2022, a total of 1,098 lives have been lost across all the states and union territories due to hydrometeorological disasters like cloud bursts and landslides. What are cloud bursts and why are they rising across India? Cloud bursts are nothing but short duration, intense rainfall events over a small area resulting in flood-like situations in the region. Not all instances of very heavy rainfall, however, are cloudbursts. It is a cloudburst when the amount of rainfall in a particular region exceeds 100 mm in an hour. As the minimum threshold is quite high, only 30 such incidents have been recorded between 1970 and 2016. This also means that a lot of reported cloudbursts in the media are not actually cloudbursts by definition. However, some scientists term rainfall between 50 and 100 mm in a span of two hours as a mini cloudburst. Cloudburst occurs when moisture-rich air travels up a mountainous region known as cumulonimbus clouds. The upward movement of these clouds provides the required energy for a cloudburst. Most of these happen in the Himalayan states where the local topology, wind systems and temperature gradients between the lower and upper atmosphere facilitate the occurrence of such events. Even though cloudbursts are extremely localized events, the consequences of these events are not confined to small areas. The heavy downpours often trigger landslides and flash floods causing extensive destruction downstream. As climate change is warming the oceans faster, the moisture-rich air reaches the Himalayan region, accelerating the intensity and duration of cloudburst events. The decadal temperature rise in the Himalayan region can also contribute to the rise in cloudbursts. Still, the trickiest part of all is that there is no satisfactory technique for anticipating the occurrence of cloudbursts, as no weather agency can forecast the quantum of rainfall. As greenhouse gases emissions increase, extreme reactions such as cloudbursts and resulting landslides are likely to increase in the coming years.